Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you are new. Today we are going to be doing a reread. Is it a book tag? I don't know. It's a reread video. So at the moment I'm struggling to know what to name this, but basically I've got a list of types of rereads for different moods that I'm in. Just thought I would share them with you and I would like to know what your answers to these prompts are. Um, so it's kind of like a tag video but at the moment I'm trying to find out what to name it because I know that there's also already a reread tag out there and I just I need to figure my shit out. But there are six different sections that I like to break down my rereads into and that might sound like a lot but just go with it, okay? So first off, we're going to go for cosy rereads. My go-to cosy rereads are sort of like a cosy mystery or a cosy fantasy. I know what you're thinking, but I've chosen something that might be a bit different to what you're expecting. The Misfortune series by Joanna Delion. I have reread the first few books in this series multiple times since I've purchased them. They are just easy to read if you just want something that's funny, that it is predictable, the plot is predictable but you've got characters that you can fall in love with, you've got, it's very campy and a bit goofy at times and it's just very cosy. You can just pop yourself down on your sofa, in your bed, wrap yourself up with a warm drink and just dive into the cosy mystery and there's nothing that's going to make you jump out your skin like it does well a lot of things do for me and this is just it's cosy vibes and it's great so you get a little bit of a campy goofy mystery but also it's just pretty chill and quiet and just fun so the next one is fun reread for me fun is like going on an adventure but it's nothing too deep. So everyone, you all know that I like to read long series, um, quite high epic fantasies. So this is, for fun, fun for me, is just something that you could just pick up. You don't have to invest too much of your brain power in, but you can just enjoy the ride while you go on it. And this is the whole Frost Heart series that I go to repeatedly. Um, I should really log more of my re rereads on Goodreads, but I don't. <laughs> um, but I have reread this three times now. No, I've read it three times in total, reread it twice. And the whole series, I just love Ash and Tobu and the found family vibes and all three books, because I have them all through an audio, are just so quick to read. They're just a fun time and they're all middle grade and it's just you don't need too much brain capacity to read these if you're in a particularly low mood i could just pick these books up and just and just follow wash and turbo on their journey and i feel feel settled next ones we have are like palette cleansing rereads for me so my go-to genre as a palette cleanser is my fun romance. Romance contemporary. It's it's my go-to. I reread Love, Hy Love Hypothesis three times. Reread this twice, I think. I love these kinds of books. Again, the plot is predictable and we all know there's with that inevitable third act blip and the tropes are the same, but both of these, like I've read all of our Hazelwood, well, so that she brought up so far, I've read. I still haven't read a love theory, a club of thousand out yet. And I have read two out of the three in this companion series. So I read Spoiler Alert and All the Feels. And I could reread Olivia Dade's books and Ali Hazelwood many a times. And I know that in the midst of my high fantasy, long emotional reads, <laughs> that if I could pick these up, these will just give me the breather that I need from all the epic high fantasy and they are my go-to so contemporary romance especially um these two authors and Sarah Hogan currently would be my go-to reread authors for palette cleansing reads 
Next up, we have series rereads. I'm crap at finishing series, but once I finish the series, I and I love it. I could reread that series multiple times. One of these is Bellslinger. I think I've reread the full series once, but this is a series that I could literally go back to and reread multiple times. I could just take in Rikers and Ferris and Kellen. It's a great series. Sebastian de Castell is one of my all time favourite authors. You all probably already know this, but if you want a fast series reread as well, these books look thick, but they are so quick and easy to read. It is YA and it's just easily digestible. So for series rereads, I would go with this. Next up, the second to last one is emotional rereads. And <laughs> yes, I do like putting myself through a lot of pain. I do like crying a lot. And if I want to put myself through a little bit of emotional damage, Ryan Carhill is the one that I will reread. I picked this book up because this is the smallest out of all the books and I'm not holding up his full series because I will sprain something. Okay, so I reread The Fall and Of Blood and Fire, which is the first two books in the series. And but even upon reread of the first one, I've had to put it down at the really emotional parts, but Ryan Carroll's writing is just so good. And despite the emotional damage that it inflicts upon me when I read these books, I will reread these forever and a day going forward. Like, one, they are thick. There's two novellas and three thickums books so far. So they're an investment. They're like a longer, <laughs> a longer term investment reread, but 100%. Ryan Carhill is in the on the top of my list for rereading when I just want a bit of emotional damage but with epic writing. <laughs> so I didn't do a reread tag situation without doing a category for my comfort rereads. So my comfort reread is Legends of Lattes. And I know that I have I don't think I go a week a day without mentioning this to somebody but the time I first picked this up I was in a life slump in general and I was not in a great place mentally and I read this story and it just gave me all the warm fuzzy feels. I loved Travis Baldwin's narration, I loved his writing style, the quiet low stakes vibes but with the high fantasy creatures I love the very small little, I can't call it world building, like, um, town <laughs> feel. And it's just, something about this just sparks joy in me every time I read it. And when I'm feeling particularly shit, um, <laughs> past year's been quite a few times, I know for a fact that I can go back to this book and I will just dive into Viv and Tandre trying to create their own little coffee shop and Thimble away in the back baking and I will just lose myself for three hours in this book and it doesn't cure all my life problems but it gives me some comfort and that's all we want in life isn't it? So this tiny little book that I came across on a random day last year when the author who was indie at the time was promoting his new book after being a narrator of, for so many years decided to bring out his own book and write it in lockdown I just came across it on Twitter and this has become my favourite book of all time and I will immediately purchase anything by this author if I could buy all the books he's narrated over the years I would but it's in the hundreds guys and I don't have that dollar but this is my go-to comfort reread. It will take a lot, a lot to replace this book in my mind and in my heart and that sounds very dramatic but it, it will, it would take a lot to, to knock this off my top spot and it would take a lot to knock Travis Baldry off my top spot as one of my favourite authors because something about his writing and his narration style and his 
voices and he's just he's it's, it's all just wrapped up in a perfect little bundle and it's a comfort and yeah I'm gonna be very predictable here as well okay, so I'm gonna tag a few people and I'm not gonna tag all of my close friends because it, then it leaves nobody else for them to tag so I'm gonna tag Chelsea from Not So Secret Bookaholic I'm gonna tag Becca from Becca Fowl Jem from Bookish Gems Ashley from Ashley's Bookish Life Chloe from Persistent Bookworm, Meg from Tall Books A Day and Andy from Zebra Reads. It'll be interesting to see what they actually pick for these different topics. If I ever decide on a title for this video, it will be coming to you soon. So, if you're not tagged in this but you would like to... If you're not tagged in this and you would like to, to do this tag anyway, I would really appreciate it. So let me know what your favourite reads are for those different categories. Um, if you like me and you want to see more of me, please like, comment and subscribe to all that good stuff. If you're here and you want to let me know you're here but you don't have anything to say, Please love black hats, very much appreciated. Until next time, enjoy. And I hope you like this random tab video.